Welcome again, and today we will record the acoustic guitar. We will record more than one, and uh, you'll see different techniques to uh, play your microphone. But I'm not gonna go too much in detail in the, in the microphone placement, but I'm gonna to choose some basic stuff, like this one, for example. We have the guitar here. The ideal thing is to put the microphone like 30 centimeters away from the guitar that's this long away from the guitar but a um, very common mistake is to place the microphone right in front of the of the hole of the guitar why is that a, a mistake because you basically are listening to the bass only and not the, to the whole thing <clears throat> the whole body of the guitar is what resonates when you play. So if you put it right in front of the hole, you're going to listen to the bass only. What I will do today is to place it right in front of this double dot fret and a little inclined to here. The strings and some of the body and some of the bass too but not too much okay so that's the placement but first let's go to the Pro Tools and do the settings what we will do now is add another channel so let's go to track new we will create two of those uh, mono that's fine. Add a track, create. Okay. Now we have our two audio tracks. Let's go to EQ. EQ7 band. Let's go to acoustic guitar. And we will put add sparkle. Okay. Same and the other one. Plug in EQ, EQ7 band, acoustic guitar, add sparkle. Now, in the second one, we will put dynamics, compressor, and acoustic guitar in the preset. That's it. Now, the same for the second one. Uh, dynamics compressor acoustic guitar now you will check that you have a good signal you gotta uh, set up the interface we will use channel 7 in my case because I have the microphone connected to channel 7 okay now in both locations now what we will do is hello hello you see I have signal in both channels but uh, we will adjust the sound for the guitar I want more signal for the, the, the guitar, so I will add a little bit more here, uh, so yes, in the interface I put a little more volume, okay, now you see this is the, the microphone for the vocals, but if I close it, what you're listening is to the guitar. So, let's try. Okay. Now, we are ready to record. Let's record one first and the other later. Ready?
close one of those. Okay. <laughs> I was talking. I shouldn't be talking. Okay. Stop. Now, let's go to the other channel and enable it to record. And let's do it. Once again, let's do it. Okay, that was one of those. This was the other. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was stuck. It's done. Well, we'll fix that ending that it was wrong. We'll fix it later. But the thing is, now you have two channels. What we will do is this: we go to the mixer, mixer, Mr. Mixer. Hello, right here the mixer and we will put audio one to the left and this one to the right so <laughs> now you can hear both of the channels listen to this You see, in here you can see, you can hear both guitars, one on each side. Uh, and what you have there is a stereo track of your guitar. You could do it with two microphones. You can place one in here, one in the other side, or you can do it recording twice the same guitar. And what you have is a uh, deeper sound a fuller sound because you have a stereo guitar now you can keep adding layers and layers of guitars and uh, panning in different positions and that will give you more and more sound you will have to adequate the levels for each guitar but if you need it you can do it Okay, I don't need it in this song. I'm gonna record an electric guitar for the next video and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Uh, so I hope you like this video and please subscribe.